Hey everyone, Tammy here with this quick Blender EV tutorial on how to make these light beams as shown here. This is going to be a quick tutorial, so let's start off by creating a new file. Okay, so let's start off by deleting the default cube, going into front view and adding a plane. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis and also scale it along the x-axis as well so we can see the effect better. Now we should go into the shading tab and click new. Delete the principal BSDF and add in a transparent BSDF, a mix shader, and an emission shader. We're going to plug the emission and transparent into the mix shader, and then the mix shader into the surface of the material output. For the color of the emission shader, we can change it to whatever we want, so I'm going to change it to this lovely blue color. And for the lighting effect, we're going to add in a gradient texture, followed by a color ramp. So let's move them over, put the color into the factor, and then the color into the factor of the mix shader here. And now for the gradient texture, I'm going to press Ctrl T, which adds in a texture coordinate and mapping node. If this didn't work for you, that means you don't have Node Wrangler enabled. So you can go into Edit, Preferences, and you should see add-ons right here. And then you can type in Node Wrangler and click this box and click Refresh. So we'll exit out of there. And, and currently you can't see anything yet. So let's go into Render Mode. And yet again, you still can't see anything. So first we're going to move the sliders like so and make sure you change linear to B-spline so that um, it's a gradual decrease, not the sharp, not the sharp cut off. By default, Blender EV won't show this effect. So what we're going to need to do is press N down here, go into options and change the blend mode from opaque to alpha blend. And there we go. So now we've got this transparent region here, which is controlled by the white section of our color ramp. Don't bring it too close or else then you'll see this um, really sharp cut off. But other than that, you can play around with it to however you want. We can bring the strength up on the emission shader to maybe like an eight. And then there we've got our lighting effect. So you can do this for a range of things. If you need to change the position or angle of our lighting effect, we can change the rotation down here. We could, uh, we're gonna want to affect the X, the X and Y mainly. So you can see here that it's rotating on the Y axis. I'm gonna press Control Z. This mainly works for um, 2D objects, so it won't really work well with spheres or cubes or anything like that. But I think it's excellent for shorts and quick like light beams that you want to do in Blender EV. So we can go into layout mode, um, press render mode. I'll get rid of the lights and I'll bring the world strength down quite a bit. And as you can see, we've got our fading beam and we can add in quite a few if we want. And another thing that I like to do whenever I have this type of scene is go into EV settings and add bloom. So this is quite a lot and this can be adjusted back into the shading tab. We can bring down the strength maybe to a four. And also I want more of a fade. So let me, let me bring the black all the way down and then we can move the whites. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy with this. If you wanted, you could also animate the lighting effects of your beams by moving the slider and then keyframing it by pressing I over position. Um, I don't want to do that, but you know, you can experiment and do whatever you want with it. I think this is quite a good effect for maybe laser beams or sword swings. You know, that little lighting effect when you, that lighting effect when um, swords are swung to give the effect that it's going really quickly. I think it would work for that as well if you turn down the emission quite a bit. Other than that, that's it for this quick tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you put your own spin on it. Maybe you found something even better than this. Other than that, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.